Nicholas. Hey, so the good news is a team of news reporters are coming by to shoot a segment on the food drive. We're gonna be on TV. Awesome. The bad news is the food drive is more like a food walk or maybe a crawl. The only donations we have are the cans we brought this morning. Aw, so the big news story is gonna be school food drive of food failure tonight at 10. Ugh. This is perfect. Huh. I wonder if Nicholas knows about parasites that make you think terrible things are good, because obviously you have one. No one's donating, and the idea of being on TV makes my stomach feel worse than the time I ate three chili dogs and rode the Whopper Whirler. But Lila would do anything, even wear polyester, if it meant she could be on TV. She loves cameras. Hello, still here. Whoops, sorry, Nick. New plan, we can use the news crew to lure Lila away from Blair's party and back to the food drive. Then she'll have to help. Yep, that sounds like a plan. We need all the help we can get. Thanks, Nick. I know the real Lila is in there somewhere, so let's hit that party and get our best friend back. Come to think of it, I like this plan, mainly because I won't have to be the one on camera. Exactly. She'll know just what to do to impress the news crew and up our donations. Let's go. This party is tighter security than my grandmother's 70th birthday. Grammy was the police chief, had a lot of enemies. Hmm, with the Mod Quad in the shop, I don't know how we'll be able to get over these walls. You mean we have to go through the main entrance like actual guests? But how? Come on, Lockett, give us a sign. Or a sign on a van, yeah! Whoa, 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 that's a lot of balloons, young man. Boss's orders, Miss Dillera loves balloons. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? I don't. Nasty things can pop in your face. <laughs> Checks out. Get in there before I change my mind. Quite the sniffer on that one, I'd say. Now, bigger issue, how to get this glitter out of my ears. Oh. Elephant rides? A puppy play zone? Chocolate fountain? It's like a dream. An ultra exclusive dream. Ooh, tiny snacks. Shawnee, enough with the mini donuts. We need to find Lila and fast. She's gotta be around here somewhere. Check it out. That must be Blair's family. Bingo. Let's get that Lila. Another bottle of vegan, gluten-free coconut water, please. Hi, everyone. May I have your attention for a second? I want to thank Blair and her family for hosting this fab, one-of-a-kind event filled with so many trendsetters, fashionistas, and fashionistas. <laughs> I know I speak for everyone when I say Blair is our fearless leader, a shining light of style. <laughs> Blair. You make us all want to be better humans and I'll be more stylish. Love you to the moon and back. Mwah. Mwah. Smoochies. Yeah. 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 Go big! No need to worry. I'll find somewhere to grow you. Is she not even gonna notice? Where are Shawnee, Lila, and Nicholas? Uh, they had to leave. Students can't just leave during detention. That's why I asked the librarian to keep an eye on the door. And she did. Uh, she's the one who took them. She said they had to go to compete in a speed reading competition. If you're making this up, Miss Pocket, I will have to call your parents for a third time. A third time? <laughs> it's like you're not even trying. My record's six. And I need to go to the water fountain. Sit down. It's time for science presentation, so I need complete silence. First up is, um, Andre Anderson. <sighs> Always gotta be first. 
smells like I'm about to get your locket. That comment doesn't even make sense. Says you! Hang tight. I have a... Miss Pocket! <gasps> you find this more interesting than science, do you? <laughs> well, it won't be able to distract you in the drawer. But my friend... Uh... Pencils are in there. comment didn't even make sense. Hey, sweet baby phone! How I've missed you! <laughs> what else is in here? Maybe something can help get us out. Earth, the third planet from the sun, but first in our hearts. Broken yo-yo, lollipops, whoopee cushion. <gasps> My slime simulator! Still simulating. Nicholas? Nicholas! Huh? Hello? Oh, yeah, I'm here. I was just thinking that this island is really, uh, cool. And good for doing normal island stuff. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow? I have to start packing last week! Uh, I don't know, Polly. I've heard developers have been buying up all the islands around Littleton for swanky resorts and beach homes. What if we get caught trespassing? Come on, Shawnee. It'll be fun. I'm not so sure about this. Can't we just hit the pool instead? That way, there's an island that looks cool and totally not haunted. We're perfectly safe. Yeah, listen, does Nicholas seem to be acting a little strange to you? He always acts strange. Strange is his norm. Land ho! Check it out! I don't think we should do this. Islands have sharp rocks and steep gorges and poisonous snakes! Come on, think positively. <laughs> Huh. Haven't seen that before. Ooh. Oh boy. Uh. Polly, Polly! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Now, let's go check out this island. Go big! This beach is incredible. And totally randomly selected. <laughs> Time to explore, shall we? Not happening. I came here to do one thing and one thing only. Chill time. Polly? Not until I catch some waves. These waves aren't big enough. Or I'm not small enough. Tiny power! <laughs> well, Shawnee, it looks like it's just the two of us. Which is why I brought enough reading for both of us. Do you want attack from Planet Nebulosa or the Sword of Brokatron? I want... Let's get going. I have a feeling you're gonna want to see what's on this island. Are you sure you know the way? This doesn't look like a path. <sighs> Listen, I've heard from a reputable and also very sketchy looking source that this island might be haunted. And I'm gonna get the proof for my vlog. Haunted? Really? <clears throat> this is Nicholas with Nicholas's Mysteries. I'm here with Shawnee. And we're on a secret island, looking for the almost dead man who's gonna live out his eternal years guarding the island against intruders. What? But we're intruders! Not that I believe in any of that silly stuff. Don't worry, Shawnee. If we run into the almost dead man, I know how to handle him, I think. We're signing off for now. I need to be on the lookout for you know who. It's okay, I have a treasure map. It could lead to riches. Hmm. How can you be sure it's authentic? It looks old, all right, but the edges are so clean. Could be printed and not hand-drawn, and... Oh, come on! Let's investigate already! I don't know, Nicholas, 
Messing with weird haunted stuff isn't really my thing. I am so gonna need a massage after this. We have to get out of here before we can't. But I can't let all of Prudence's stuff get buried in here. to be pint-sized, Littleton. <laughs> I can't wait to watch it. Can we make popcorn? No, when? We'll be in my shrink-proof fallout shelter, where we'll hide out for the next three months until it's safe to be in Littleton again. Nobody's shrinking Griselle Grande, not even Griselle Grande. But our little frenemies will have a front row view. <laughs> Come on, Gwen. We have two minutes till this little eyes is little tent. I'm not making the same mistake that Prudence made. I trust you to help. Any ideas? <sighs> I think we can break it if we had enough force. How do we get enough force? This angle, falling to the ground would create maximum impact. Uh, falling from way up here was not at the top of my list. If this granny can do it, you can do it. We're in this together. <laughs> 